Washington tonight and President Trump's 4th of July spectacle bands rehearsing in front of the Lincoln Memorial this afternoon. Crowds gathering in the shadow of one of the Abrams tanks that rolled into town. The president and first lady you can see there arriving just before he delivered his address. Critics have raised concerns about how much it will all cost, but the president says whatever it is, it's worth it. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, President Trump taking the stage in front of the Lincoln Memorial for what he billed as one of the biggest celebrations in the history of our country. Today, we come together as one nation with this very special salute to America. We celebrate our history, our people, and the heroes who proudly defend our flag. The president fixated on staging a grand military event ever since witnessing Bastille Day festivities in France, ordering up flyovers from fighter jets. He also demanded that the Pentagon ship tanks to the mall, where this afternoon they sat out in the rain. That is one of two Abrams tanks brought here to the Lincoln Memorial from Fort Stewart, Georgia. This is the first time tanks are a part of the 4th of July event here in D.C. The White House won't put a price tag on the festivities. The president says whatever it is, it will be worth it. His opponents don't buy it. I'm not quite sure that we need money to go in to put tanks uh, in downtown uh, Washington, D.C. It is just absolute misplaced. He thinks these things are toys. I think, you know, reducing our nation to uh, tanks and, and shows of muscle just makes us look like the, the kind of loudmouth guy at the bar. In Iowa, Joe Biden dismissing White House claims that this event is about patriotism, not politics. At an event, designed more to stroke his ego than celebrate American ideals. But here on the mall, people seeing it differently. His heart is for our country and is for the people and for the military. So I think deep down, his heart is in a good place. Cecilia, the White House handed out VIP tickets to the Republican National Committee and big dollar donors. The president plugging the event throughout the day on Twitter. You can be sure he'll have his eye on those crowd turnout numbers. Cecilia. Oh, for sure. Stephanie Ramos, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.